Welcome back. When Brady started doing improv while he was still in high school, what started out as a way to manage his anxiety quickly grew into an interest in the performing arts. After moving to Los Angeles to pursue acting, he made his debut on television on a sketch comedy show that stint as a recurring contestant lasted from 1996 to 1999. By 2001, he was starring in his own variety show on ABC called The Wayne Brady Show. Though Brady is most known for his acting and comedic prowess, he's also a talented singer. He was able to show this off in 2004 when he joined the Broadway revival of Chicago. Given all his television roles as a host and an actor, it's not surprising that he has won five Emmy Awards in his career. Brady has been open about his early brushes with anxiety. Brady has been open about his early brushes with anxiety as a child, but it took many years for him to admit that he might be depressed. Though he struggled with the condition, Throughout his 30s, it wasn't until his 40s that he decided to seek help. According to an interview with Very Well Mind, Robin Williams' death was the eye opener that made him think about taking care of his mental health. Depression is a mental health disorder that usually affects how a person feels, thinks, and carries out their daily activities. Though not many people talk about it, it's considered to be one of the most mental health disorders out there. In fact, statistics show that one in six Americans deal with at least one episode of depression annually. It's also the leading cause of disability in people who are between the ages of 15 and 44. While there are several factors that can lead to developing depression, this mental health disorder is more common than people would like to admit. Worst yet, it's not a condition that's likely to resolve on its own. If you notice any of the symptoms that are listed here, it's best to talk to your doctor about them. Thanks for listening.